What's up guys, it's Kevin back here for another video. Today we're going to be playing Tower Simulator 2, which is an air traffic control game where you have to manage an airport with a whole bunch of aircraft taking off and landing. Today we are here at Orlando in Florida at the airport and we're going to be doing some controlling for a little while. Main things to know, we've got We've got four main terminals, a fifth one if you count the um, some of the other parking. Today we're going to be using 35 right and 36 left as landing runway, as landing runways, and 36 right and 35 left as departure. If you have any other questions, please leave it in the comments section, and I will try to respond. Okay, let's start. And as you can see, we already have two aircraft inbound, both of them being United Air. Ground, Delta 2260 with information Delta, requesting push and start. Now, if you ever need help learning the controls, all you press is escape, then you press help, it gives you all the commands, everything, but this is what a normal um, contact would sound like. Delta 2260, pushback approved. Expect runway three five left. And then you'll see he draws. Push a line. back approved. Expect runway three five now, left. Dell to twenty two sixty. Now if we come out here we can see the aircraft and it requires and right before it gets Crown. pushed back. Delta twenty six thirty one heavy with information delta requesting push and start. We're already getting another call. It looks like it's from I think it's an Airbus. I'm not too sure though. Delta 2631 heavy, pushback approved, expect right 35 left. And in case you're wondering, down pushback here it says approved, what it is. Pushback approved, expect runway 35 left, Delta 2631 heavy. So we can see it's a Delta aircraft, and it is indeed an Airbus A330, and it shows what runway they're planning on taking off from. These two United flights are still a little bit out. So we still got some more time before they contact us about landing. But right now we just gotta manage on getting these two Delta flights out of here and out. So these are ground control stations right here. Where they would control pushbacks, but since I'm doing this solo today, I'm up here in the main tower with everything in control. Let me turn on my airport lights. So as you can see, they're still uh, closing in, they should be, uh, 44, uh, 44 nautical miles, I think, I'm not too sure, but, and right here we can see, Tower, oh. United 1739 on final 35 right. United 1739, clear to land, runway 35 right. So now they're cleared to land. Cleared to land. Runway 35 right. United 1739. And I can't talk Tower, over them. Tower, United 2323 on final 36 left. I Ground, can... Dale to 2260, ready to taxi. I can talk over them, it's just because of sound. Uh, I'm gonna, like, hold and stuff. But, now, I can also give commands while I'm frozen like this. So, United 2323. Clear to land runway 36 left. And then once I unpause, he'll, he'll be like, okay, copy, landing 36 right, uh, 36 left. But I'm also on pause, I'm also gonna deal with Delta. Delta 2260, taxi to runway 35 left. And those are some of the basic commands you need to know. Clear to land. Push runway 36 back, left. Uh, taxi, United 2323. And some other ones. Taxi to runway 35 left. Delta 2260. And the only reason Delta 2631 hasn't requested for, uh, for taxi, it's because if they still have a pushback truck, that means they're still in the process of, well, pushing back. So... We still need to wait until we push back. Delta 2631 heavy ready to taxi. 
Delta 2631 heavy. Taxi to runway 35 left. And if we want, like, let's say, oh, I'm Taxi seeing a traffic jam. Taxi to runway jam. 35 left. Delta 2631 heavy. Let's say I'm seeing a traffic jam on, uh, Golf. Taxiway Golf, uh, to runway 35 left. Then I would say, oh, Delta 2631 heavy. Taxi to runway 36 right. I can change runway even though I've already assigned him his runway. I'm going to do one thing though real quick just, just so you guys can hear me better. I'm going to lower my master volume. So you guys can hear me just a little bit better. And now what we have here is we have our coordination strips. I could move them manually but I do have a small handy button that automatically changes them to whatever runway they're going. So these two guys are on departure. And, uh, but that means they're currently either A, on the runway, or B, taxiing to the runway. Uh, when they Ground. leave, they would United be out there. United 1770 with information echo. Requesting push and start. United 1770. Push back approved. Expect runway 36 right. Push back approved. Expect runway 36 right. United 1770. In Tower Simulator 3 uses voice commands. So how they know I'm talking to them is if I hold down tab on the keyboard, uh, this pops up at the top, and uh, you'll see I'm able to give radio calls uh, over to the planes. And I, I, you say their their call sign, and then you act, and then you tell them what they need to do. We could see our United both well, United flights are coming in, and real quick while we got time. We see that Delta and WestJet, Air Canada, uh, Sun Country, they're all at this terminal. We have our Southwest Airlines terminal, Spirit and Frontier terminal down here, and finally American United, uh, yeah, American United down here. And then, like I said earlier, we got some miscellaneous ones like you get JetBlue. They're a pretty popular one in some places. Avianca, which Avianca and Copa are both uh, South American airlines. And Emirates, I'm actually surprised we have one here. But this is a very famous, uh, expensive airline from the Middle East. And then, of course, all the way down there, we have some... We have the Southwest Hangar. Uh, we have Cargo. And over there, we have some private uh, airline stuff, so... So now, actually, what I should be able to do is if I press 10, I have all my keybinds selected. We could see United actually on final. And, and they're going to fall, well, there would be an ILS there, but I don't know why it's not there. But there should be an ILS there, and it should guide them in. Ground, Air Mexico, 441 with information echo, requesting push and start. And also looks like I missed Air Mexico, so... Aero Mexico 441. Pushback approved. Expect runway 36 right. United 1770. Taxi to runway 36 right. Pushback approved. Expect runway 36 right. Aero Mexico 441. I'm just going to pause the game real quick so I can speak. So, as you can see, Delta 2631 Heavy. He is currently about to be at the holding point for runway 35 left, okay? And what that means is they're going to stop right there and they're going to wait for permission to take off. There's two types of takeoffs, okay? There's regular takeoff, which you just say take off, and they wait on the ground, do their final instrument check, and then they power up and go. Immediate takeoff is they, as soon as they line up on the runway, they just take off. They don't wake it. Wait a second. So. Taxi to runway three six right. United seventeen seventy. For example. Ground. United seventeen seventy ready for taxi. Delta two six three one heavy. Clear for takeoff runway three five left. And then with the other Delta aircraft, I'll do a immediate takeoff. Clear for takeoff, takeoff so you can runway like. three five left. Delta twenty six thirty one heavy. Oh, and we can also see our both of our United planes landing. One's a 737, and the other one is... Looks to be an Airbus. But regular takeoff is, you see them, they stop after they line up with the runway. 
And then they changed some stuff, like they put the flaps down, and then, oh, I don't know what he just did, but, uh, and then now he's gonna start taking off. We also have, we also have line up and wait command, which means I just sit Tower, right there. Frontier flight 1807 on final 36 left. Frontier 1807, clear to land runway 36 left. So, uh, NKS is Spirit Wings, they're not here yet. But what I can do is, United 2323, taxi to terminal. Or I could do United 1739, taxi to ramp. Taxi to terminal, United 2323, taxi to ramp, United 1739. Show you that noise. Crown, Aero Mexico 441, ready to taxi. Aero Mexico 441, taxi to runway 36 right. And now uh, you can also tell them what taxi runway, to runway you want, uh, taxi right. way you want them to use. Aero Mexico 441. Now, Delta. Tower, Spirit Wings 2080 on final 35 right. Come on, Spirit. Delta 2260, clear for immediate takeoff runway 35 left. So now, as soon as they line up, they'll take Clear off. But Spirit Wings 2080. Clear to land. Runway 35 right. Do you see that now? Now they're going to take off. Clear to land. land. Runway 35 right. Spirit Wings 2080. Frontier Flight 1807. Clear to land. Runway 36 left. I never confirmed them, apparently. Yeah, see, look, he lined up, and now he's already, he should, he's get, yeah, he's already gonna start taking off. Even though he had, hadn't stopped and changed some, some of his stuff on his aircraft, he's taking off now. Good to see Delta, um, hanging out. And also, as you can see, even though it looks like it's off the runway, that still goes on the runway, so they still need to ask for clearance. Especially if it's something like that, where it's in the middle of the runway. United 1770, clear for immediate takeoff on way 36 right. The only reason I'm doing immediate takeoff for United for immediate takeoff. Runway 36 right. is because United I want the other United aircraft, 232, uh, two, three, two, three. I want them to be able to cross because they're going to cross, they're going to attempt to cross right there, but I'm going to have them wait for United to take off and they'll have him cr cross and then, uh, United. But what I do have to do is United 2631 Heavy Contact Departure Now sometimes Sometimes it gets it wrong Delta 2631 Heavy Contact Delta 2260 Contact Departure on 119.4 Delta 2631 Heavy. Good day. American 2134. Pushback approved. Expect runway 36 right. United 1739. Cross runway 35 left. United 2323. Cross runway 36 right. Now. Archer on 119.4. Delta 2260. United 1770, contact departure. If I was playing multiplayer, I'd have to say contact Pushback departure on, right. and then whatever American frequency it has me. As. Cross runway 35 left, United 1739. Aero Mexico 441, clear for takeoff, runway 36 right. Cross runway 36 right, United 2323. Here we see that United 737. United 1770. Good day. And Clear actually, takeoff, runway 36 right, Aero Mexico. I think he parks right there. Tower Delta 1030 right on final 36 left. I think he parks right there because Americans pushing back and yeah, and there's no push. Ground right there. American 2134 with information echo requesting push and start. Delta 1030. Clear to land, runway 36 left. 
cleared to land, runway 36 left, Delta 1030. Oh, and as we can see right now, Frontier is just now landing. Wow, Aeromexico is taking off. Frontier's main fleet, I don't want to get this wrong, but I believe it's mostly Airbuses, and it's a low-budget airline. Ground. Southwest 2684 with information echo. Requesting push and start. And as for a fact, Southwest is all 737s. Southwest 2684. Pushback approved. Expect only... 35 right. So now what I did Push back was I'm going to have on three cross five 35 right. left instead Southwest 26 to take off on that runway so you can see Ground. what it looks like. American 2134 ready to taxi. American 2134 taxi to runway 36 right. Arrow Mexico 441 contact departure. Nice and simple. Frontier flight 18. Zero seven. Taxi to terminal. Taxi to runway three six right. American twenty one thirty four. It's all a dance on who on you can get fitted in and who's Air gonna have Mexico, to go around. Four forty one. Good day. LAX is an absolute Taxi mess when it comes to uh, an effort. Tower. November 341 Kilo on final 35 right. So I'm just going to say this now. I'm trying to make this video a little bit on the shorter side. So everything after November 341 King is going to have to sit this out. Ground. Jet Blue 656 with information. Echo. Jet Blue 656. Push and start. Pushback approved. Expect only 36 right. Spirit Wings 2080, taxi to ramp. Push back approved, expect runway 36 right. Frontier Flight Jet 1807, cross runway 36 right. Taxi to ramp, Spirit Wings 2080. Cross runway 36 right. American 2134, clear for immediate takeoff, runway 36 right. And now we can fit Cleared in November. For immediate takeoff, runway 36 right. American 2134. November 341, King. Clear to land, runway 35 right. So now we got him fitted in. Clear to land, runway 35 right. November 341 Kilo. American 2136, go around. Southwest 2870, go around. Ground. Southwest, Southwest 2684, ready to taxi. Taxi to runway 35, right? Chanel. Taxi to runway 35, right? Southwest 2684. This is how you figure out what runway to use, okay? The runway you use is whichever way the wind is going. So right now, I'm assuming since it's... Ground, Jet Blue 656 oh. ready to taxi. Jet Blue 656 taxi to runway 36 right. Hold up, where's the simple wind stock uh, at this place? I'm not too sure where it is, actually. Uh... There should be a wind sock somewhere. It's just telling me which direction the wind is blowing, but does not seem to be here. So, only problem is, now we do not know where we have to go. Uh, well, where I have to send the planes. And then this is the delete button, which I can use to delete an aircraft, like Southwest. Taxi to runway 36 right. Jet blue 656. But super simple. You Ground can... Southwest 4615 with information echo. Requesting push and start. Tower American 2136 on final 36 left. Delta 1030. Taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal. Delta 1030. Yeah, as you can see, doing a good job here, just 
telling everybody where to go. Delta 1030. Taxi to ramp. Delta 1030. Cross runway 36 right. Now, I probably shouldn't be Taxi giving all these ramp. commands before we even Delta started to move in. Cross runway 36 right. Delta oh, 10 he's 30. a. Uh, so this is Tower, 757. Southwest 2870 on final 35 right. Southwest 2870, go around. Go around. Southwest 2870. So that's a general aviation aircraft, I, th I believe. Let me just check. And also, let me get all of these guys dismissed. Oh, the general aviation aircraft it is a Learjet, which means it's a small aircraft that usually carries business. JetBlue 656, clear for immediate takeoff from way 36 right. Cleared for immediate takeoff, runway 36 right, JetBlue 656. Spirit Wings 2080, cross runway 35 left. Cross runway 35 left, Spirit now, Wings 28. Air Canada is trying to uh, gonna ask if they can push back, but no, since I'm going to cut this video off as soon as I Ground. handle Air these Canada guys. Air Canada 1087 so, Heavy with information echo, requesting push and start. Since I'm going to cut the video off here, uh, well, once these aircraft get where they need to go, um, I'm not going to deal with any more aircraft, but Southwest 2684, cross runway 35 left. Cross runway 35 left. Southwest 2684. And now have you... Oh, that Learjet's coming in. Hold up. Here's our Learjet, guys. Coming in nice. Actually, it's coming in pretty fast. American 2134 contact departure. JetBlue 656 contact. Now I could wait until a Departure specific altitude Departure on 119.4, American 2134, good day. Departure on 119.4, JetBlue 656, good day. American 2136, go around. Yeah, not, I don't think you went around. Go around, American 2136. American 2127, go around. Yeah, they didn't go around, I guess. Go around. American 2127. Also, what was the Tower. point for Southwest? American 2127 on final 36 left. Why did Southwest go on Echo when he could have just went on Foxtrot? I'm not too sure. Would have been way more... Would have made way more sense instead of making so many curves, uh, turns. Just boom, bang, boom, bang. That's how he went, but it's up to him. Tower, Rouge 1634 on final 35 right. Rouge. Some of that major doesn't pick up. Rouge 1634. That works too. Okay. Departure on 119.4. Rouge 1634. November 341 King. Taxi to ramp. I probably should have told them that a lot. Taxi to ramp. November 341 Kilo. But yeah, so I'm gonna have, um. Southwest 2684. Enter runway. If I make a mistake, I just hold it Ground. down and don't say Delta anything. Delta 809 er with information and echo. Requesting it. push and start. November 341 King, cross runway 17 right. 
Why did he land over there if he's gonna get all the way over there? Right. Come on. November three, four, one kilo. And now what I'm gonna do to make my life a lot easier, once I get this guy up, I'm just gonna time warp speed. I'll show you how that works in a second. Southwest two six eight four. Clear for takeoff runway three five left. Now I made a mistake there, okay? Southwest two six eight four, clear for takeoff runway three five right. So it was supposed to be three five clear right and not three takeoff, five. Right. But runway three five right. Southwest twenty six eighty four. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed it times eight so we can see the nice fast Tower, pace United four thirteen heavy on is, final three six left. That is Orlando. I would be dealing with all these but Southwest two six eight four contact. Departure on one one nine point four Southwest twenty six eighty four. Good day. United four one three heavy contact departure. Departure on one one nine point four. West United Jet one two two eight go around. Jet blue eight two. I'm not even gonna fix that. November three four one King cross runway three six right. All you gotta do is you gotta Go remember around. them. West Jet twelve twenty eight. November three four right. one King November cross three, runway four, three King. six left. So nice going so fast you can barely keep left. up with them. November three four one kilo. Now this is because you're sped up again. This is the speed up button. You can see we got times one, times two, times four, times eight, and times sixteen. Tower, JetBlue 2051 on final three six left. Tower, American 2136 on final three five right. And Tower, Blue 1634 on final three six left. Tower, Southwest 2870 on final three five right. And real quick, if you don't respond to the aircraft, uh. They will not land, even though Ground. they have their landing gear down. Wings 2083 with information echo. Request they will put their landing gear down in case of emergency, but you see they put it right up after they realized you didn't get permission. With information echo. So now Request they just fly straight over the runway. So, that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.